Ah, kia ora. Uh, my name is Mark Deldorf. I'm the Director of People and Capability here at Te Haringa Waka, Victoria University of Wellington. So essentially my role is uh, running the, um, or leading the human resources team here at the university. So the concept of pay equity is making sure that roles that have similar skills, experience, uh, effort required and responsibilities are paid equally. Uh, now they may not be necessarily in the same uh, occupational groups, but they have the same sets of skills, responsibilities, effort uh, and responsibility. So to me, what that means is ensuring that we are paying uh, appropriately people who, uh, when you compare them to other roles, uh, the, there might be an inequity or a gap in terms of the, the pay scales. So the two pay equity claims that are, uh, we're currently working on, one is in relation to roles that are in the library area and the other is in the administrative and clerical roles within the eight universities in New Zealand. So what we're looking at is are there historically uh, an undervaluation of those roles due to the fact that they have been predominantly female dominated occupational groups. So there are four phases to a pay equity claim process and the first process is really the establishment of um, the claim. Is it arguable? In other words, do we believe there's something here that we should be looking at? Uh, the establishment of the terms of reference and how the parties will work together. The second phase is then the investigation assessment phase where you're looking at uh, the identification of the roles. Uh, the assessment phase is about interviews with employees who are in those roles, uh, assessing against some criteria uh, those roles and, and looking at comparator occupational groups. The third phase is then settling the claim. So this is really looking at the claim, looking at the information and saying, look, we believe there are some inequities here, if that's what's come out of the investigation process, and then you bargain and settle that claim in terms of how do we mitigate and rectify any inequities. And then the last phase is really a review of the process and make sure that uh, you know it's fit for purpose, not just for now, but also for the future. So investigating the claim is probably the the, it's the critical part of the process. It's also where uh, there is the most work and the most involvement of uh, employees, uh, the unions and the, and, the, and the universities. The key element to that is in, it, it's, I, I'll use the analogy, it's a bit like painting a fence. If you, the, it, the secret is in the preparation. The secret is making sure that we have the right tools uh, to do the assessments, that we've conducted the right training for the interviewers uh, to conduct the interviews with the employees, and then that we have the right quality assurance to ensure that all of the interviews that take place across the country um, are accurate and that they can provide the data and the assessment and, this, and the, uh, ultimately the result that, that is consistent. So it's the most critical part of the pay equity claim and it's the, the part where uh, ourselves and the unions will be working very closely in ensuring that we have interviewers that are trained, that we have the right process, that we've, we are employing the right groups of employees uh, as we go through the process. It's probably also, uh, in terms of work effort, it takes a lot of effort and a lot of logistics because we'll be doing this across the country um, with you know, quite a large number of employees in the, in the respective universities. So staff are involved in this process very much in the phase where we're doing the investigation and the assessment. So staff are involved in uh, First of all, some staff may be involved as interviewers, potentially, and we would train them up to be interviewers, but most of the staff that will be involved will be people who will be in an interview situation as an interviewee, and they'll be asked a range of questions around their responsibilities, what skills they apply to their role, uh, what sort of effort they put into it, what are the conditions under which they work, and then all of that information is collated to make an assessment as to the size of the role and how does it compare to other roles. So 
employees are critical to the process and in fact I would encourage people who are part of the claim process it would be great to get a number of people you know who are very keen to go through this process not just because it's an important process but it's also a good learning experience for people as well.